So we're coming to the end of summer 2021, and it is a much different summer from 2020. Now, of course, we're dealing with COVID the same way we were in 2020, but one major thing that's different from the summer of 2020 is the protests. Last year, around this time, we were dealing with a whole lot. Lafayette and cities around the world were dealing with a large number of protests of racial disparities, particularly in the wake of George Floyd's killing. And it's one of those things that made me think of how difficult a job the people have who work in this building behind me. At the end of summer last year, I was in a number of meetings with a number of pastors, community leaders, uh, mayors, and police chiefs to try to talk about the racial disparities that were going on in this community. I've learned in the last couple of months that on at least two different occasions, we've had situations in Lafayette that were very close to some of the situations that led to riots in other parts of the world. We've had issues with teenagers at Columbian Park. There's currently a lawsuit going on with some excessive use of force. Um, this city is not immune to any of those other situations. And the reason I'm bringing it up for us today is not so that we can solve any of these problems. I've known a number of people who have come face to face with the circumstances that I've been describing here. And I've also known some of the police officers who are doing exceptionally tough jobs at trying to balance all the different concerns that they have in their jobs. So we're not going to solve any problems today, but we're going to pray that God's will would be done and God's kingdom would come on earth as it is in heaven in this city. There are two things that as a white guy Christian, I'm responsible to do. Number one, the Apostle Paul tells me that I am supposed to pray for the governing authorities and submit to their power. This is weird because the Apostle Paul says submit to the governing authorities when literally the nation state of Rome was persecuting Christians all over the ancient world. And not just Christians, all kinds of people were facing oppression under the Roman authority, literally being tortured and killed for the sport of the government. And Paul says, submit to their authorities. So on the one hand, as a Christian, I am supposed to submit to the governing authorities. I'm also supposed to pray for the governing authorities. But Paul says there's another principle I also have to hold up. And that is the principle of bearing one another's burdens. That's a big challenge. There are a lot of burdens that people feel in this city that I don't feel. There are a lot of burdens that other people have that I don't have. And it's my job to bear their burdens in love too. So here's the challenge for me. It's a challenge for you as well. It's a challenge for all of us. We have to hold these two things in tension. On the one hand, we have to support, submit to, pray for, ask for God's will to be done in the context of our governing authorities. On the other hand, we have to stand with in solidarity our brothers and sisters who are facing difficult burdens, even if those burdens relate to the governing authorities. So we're not solving any problems today, but I'm inviting you, asking you to join me in prayer for the people who work out of the building behind me. The people who work in law enforcement in Lafayette, West Lafayette, in Tippecanoe County, these people have difficult, difficult jobs. And we need to ask for God to have his will done in their hearts and lives. We need to ask for God to give them wisdom and courage, bravery and compassion. We need to ask for God to move in their lives too. Join me in prayer that God would give them all the wisdom and the courage that they need. Join me in prayer that God would give them all the compassion that they need so that our society, our city, can be filled with God's will being done on earth as it is in heaven.